Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Dr. UUT channel. In this video, we will talk about the ECG or EKG. Well, this video is in English and available in Urdu. EKG or ECG, the term stands for the electrocardiogram. Well, both stands for the same, electrocardiogram. So what is the shortcut definition of this ECG? This is actually the action potential measurement of the myocardial cell or you can say of the heart. The action and potential measurement of the complete heart is called electrocardiogram. So gram means when you take it as in a graphical representation uh, through the machine, this kind of uh, structure will be formed. This is actually called as electrocardiogram. Well, coming to the points through number wise, one, two, three, four, five, six. First of all, we must know about the heart a little bit that uh, atria, the upper chambers, articles, and the liver chambers, the ventricles. The atria will contract and then the ventricle, then the blood will be pumped to the lungs, from the lungs to the atria, then to the ventricle, then to the whole system. We know about that. Well, coming to the point that is contraction. Sinoatrial node is responsible to generate the pace, or you can say to generate the electrical current for the muscles to contract. So what will happen? First of all, the contraction of the atria will happen. And we know the cell will contract when it gains the stimulus. And uh, coming to the point, when the cell becomes uh, stimulated, we call that cell as depolarized. After the depolarization, the cell will become excited and then the cell will do the specific uh, job. It means the cell will then respond to the same specific stimuli. So how the cell will become depolarized? Giving a little bit idea from the past uh, lectures that uh, you know generally outside of the cell is positive and inside of the cell is negative what happens when the depolarization is going to happen and when the stimulus is reached uh, to the specific muscle the positive ions will start moving inside so inside of the cell will become positive and outside will become negative why because positive has been moved from the outside so like this what will become the cell will become unstable so we will call that as a depolarized when this cell becomes depolarized then a signal is uh, being uh, reached and being given and being accepted by the cell and now the signal is for the contraction then the cell will undergo the process of contraction and due to this depolarization in the ECG we will observe some peaks this peak will be due to the depolarizations and the peak that is like this in outward position in upward position or you can say the wave that is forming the upper region or a crest formation will be due to the depolarization got this view wave will be due to the depolarization so what will happen the same cell is again uh, this cell needs to be repolarized or this needs to be become again stabilized so what will happen repolarized means means the poles will become again equal like so what will happen now suppose this cell became this is the now depolarized cell how will this depolarized cell become again repolarized the positive will start moving outside so the outside will become positive then as the positive ions leave the inner membrane so the inner side of the membrane will become negative like this the cell will become repolarized and the peak that will be formed will be a down shoot you can say a trough will be formed so we don't observe any kind of uh, down peak or downward peak all the peaks are upward then is this graph just for the repolarization for the depolarization the question is that is this graph just for the depolarization or uh, is there any kind of repolarization also available? Well, coming to the graph, the graph, uh, this P wave and Q R S complex and T and U. First of all, leave U for a side, coming to the T. Yes, tell T. The P wave stands for the atrial depolarization or the P wave is formed when the HDR depolarize. And uh, then what will happen? After the depolarization, the contraction of the atria will occur. The blood will come to the ventricles, then the ventricles will contract so the depolarization of ventricle will occur. Now this is the P wave stands for the actual depolarization and the QRX, QRS stands for the ventricular depolarization. So now 
when will the atria relax and uh, what is this t wave standing for uh, the t wave stands for the ventricular repolarization so now we've missed one thing that is the atrial depolarization uh, repolarization atrial depolarization is for uh, being indicated here that p wave stands for the atrial depolarization so then we did not discuss in the graph the when uh, atrial repolarization means relaxation what will it do well according to some texts that the atrial repolarization is very feeble very weak because of the ventricular contraction when the ventricles contract in a very fast way so the ventricular wave is just hiding the p wave the p wave not the next wave the, the atrial repolarization means actual depolarization is done but the repolarization is a bit like hidden by the qrs complex or you can say by the ventricular depolarization so in between this uh, this area or you can say between this segment the atrial repolarization re repolarization is a bit missed like hidden you can say so what will happen next is that the ventricles first of all the atria got contract means depolarization happened so this peak represents the atrial depolarization and atrial repolarization is a bit hidden here and the ventricular depolarization is this qrx complex is showing qrx stands for the ventricular depolarization so when the ventricles depolarize they will contract after the contraction so the ventricles are also supposed to relax then what will happen a kind of gap is seen here so then what will happen the next peak is observed in which the ventricles are relaxing so now this week this peak that is a, the t peak which is representing ventricular repolarization according to the depolarization repolarization strategy we came to know that the peaks should be upward for the depolarization and the peak should be downward for the repolarization then in the ecg or in the ekg the T wave is representing the ventricular depolarization, but the peak is upward, not downward. Now, what is the reason behind? Well, this reason is explained in a, in a very different way. That generally what happens uh, when the depolarization is happening, positive will move inside and negative will move outside. Or you can say just outside will become negative because positive has moved inside the cell, which caused the depolarization. And in case of the repolarization, what is happening? The positive will move back to outside and the inside will become the negative. So this was causing the repolarization. So after uh, this observation, the book states that this T wave is upward for the reason that the ventricular contraction was very quick, very high enough, very high. So the ventricular contraction caused what? A very, a lot amount depolarization means the positive ions moved so much or too much inside the cell so now they were just uh, trying to move up move outside means due to these positive ions a number of positive ions when they were moving outward or outside the cells so these positive were being sensed by the uh, machine and the graph was formed due to the, those positive ions so a lot of positive ions was, were rushing and that's why they were just forming another another wave named as T wave, but upward, not downward. This was a simple logic present over there. That because the concentration was too much inside the cell of positive ions, so when these positive ions were coming upward, instead to show the negativity, they all they showed they expressed or the expression of the EKG was a peak uh, in an upward style. So this is a little bit about uh, normal ECG. Other uh, one abnormality I'm presenting here in this ECG that is of the u wave in case when there is a hypokalemia maybe you can say when there is low concentration of the potassium ion so so that's it and coming towards some other points that we must know regarding the ecg that is uh, about segments and intervals because when we are going to treat or to concentrate on the ecg we must uh, be looking at these uh, uh, points in order to treat that certain patient well, in case of segments, we have three, one, two, three. And in case of intervals, we also have three, one, two, three. Segments are the portions between the waves. Between the P and Q wave, the segment is called PQ segment. And between 
the S and T wave, the, the QRS complex, you can say, that is given the name ST segment. This is one wave, this is another wave, but the segment is uh, given the name uh, from the S to T. So ST segment is this one. And uh, what is then TP segment? TP segment stands when we draw two EKG. One EKG is here for one beat. For the next piece, when we draw here, then from one T to the next P, which, which, will, which will be here. So from one T to the next P will be another segment that will be given the name is TP segment. And uh, now this was the space between the segments. Now between the waves, this is also segment. This is also under the, consider the consideration. We must also keep this one in the consideration while treating. That is the intervals. P, R, Q, T, and R, R. We have three types of intervals. Well, what is the PR interval? The distance from one peak to the next peak. This is PR interval. And what is the QT interval? From one Q to the next uh, T. This peak starts from here. So this peak starts from here. That's why we are mentioning or giving the name from the starting point. So from P to R and Q to T, this is another interval. And what is RR interval? Again, when we draw the next uh, uh, graph for the which one for the next beat then the intervals between one R and another R will be R R interval well in this graph we just have two segments and two intervals segment number one PQ segment number two ST and we have intervals PR first interval and S uh, and QT QT the next interval so that's a little bit from my side about the ECG or EKG. If you still have any kind of question, you can comment and in the comment box will come soon, inshallah, to answer the question. Thank you for watching.